Hi, my name is Anna Herlocker and I am painting another self-portrait. This time I am looking at Alice Neal's style while I paint myself. One thing that you will notice with Alice Neal's work is that she typically has this unfinished look to her work. There's a lot of white space left over. Also, she uses a lot of line work. So you kind of have an idea of how she built or drew out her subject. Her figures are typically wonky. Um, fingers will seem longer than they should be. Um, the body might be warped a little bit. So Alice was looking at the figure, not just to represent the figure as a beauty icon, um, but what was the body language that this figure was giving off? Um, she was sort of looking for the expression or the mood of the character or the subject really, um, bringing more realism in terms of not trying to paint something to make it beautiful or an icon, um, but more of like giving the painting a little more honesty, um, and it became a little more intimate in that nature to really get to know the subject matter in a more realistic, gritty manner. And I think that's what made her popular. Um, I'm going to go ahead and read what this author wrote about her painting, Ginny and Elizabeth. At first glance, the painting appears to show modern day Madonna and child. The Madonna wearing jeans is sitting on a sun-dappled floor while the baby, a girl, surely nestles between her mother's protective legs. All seems calm and serene until you notice the woman's body language. Her shoulders are tense, her torso slumped, and she is staring not at her child, but blankly at the floor. If this is what motherhood looks like, then it is clearly not for the faint of heart. Overall, I feel like I did my best to try to be realistic with myself and capture my body language, um, which was a little bit hard since I'm constantly moving as I am painting. Um, but I feel like you can at least see my expression hopefully looks a little more serious and busy and... Um, I mean, you can kind of see the awkwardness in my body as I'm turning back and forth to paint as I turn to look back at myself in the mirror. So I tried to at least capture that um, awkward motion of um, my constant turn to study myself. Overall, um, I'm okay with this painting. I really like Alice Neal's work, so I would like to try this again and maybe even try painting someone else um, in her style. I think it's really fun um, and I, I really like trying to capture um, not just the figure but the mood and expression of the person that I am painting.